wa zamani wanasema kesho hujengwa na leo mara nyingi tunazungumzia kukuza uwezo wa vijana hasa watoto wa kike lakini hapa tunalojibu leo nimetembelea kituo ambacho ni baadhi tu ya vituo vichache hapa nchini ni kituo cha Nice Place Foundation kituo ambacho kimejitosa ima faima kukuza uwezo wa wasichana katika eneo la Kajado katika masuala mbali mbali tunazungumzia masuala ya uongozi masuala ya uchumi masuala ya kujikuza katika biashara na mambo kadhalika jiunge nami katika makala haya tujikite katika kuijua Nice Place Foundation Musa nimevumilia sana kupigwa pigwa kama mimi punda na ngumi zako za kila siku Musa ni siku tulivu na wasichana wanafanya mazoezi yao ya sanaa kama ibada. Nimevumilia sana. Sauti zao ni za kumtoa na kumrudisha nyoka pangoni. Majengo hapa ni imara kama migodi ya almasi ya makweli. Kulingana na data iliyotolewa na Wizara ya Afya, kaunti ya Kajiado inashikilia nambari tatu kwenye visa vya mimba ya mapema nchini. Ishara kwamba lazima washikadau na serikali watengeze mbinu za kuhakikisha kuwa hali hii angalau inabadilika. Nice Place Foundation al maarufu NPF ni kituo kilichoamini ima faima kuwa hali hii inaweza kubadilika. Uh, at nice Place Foundation is a, it is an institution to empower Uh, young girls at uh, Kajiado County uh, to give them an, a space or an opportunity to to achieve their potential so here at nice place we have uh, three programs that we are running one we have the safe shelter is for the girls who are at risk at risk of either fgm early marriages gender based violence or the three Mita chache kutoka mbuga ya wanyama ya Mboseli ndipo ambacho kituo hichi kinasimama. Nice Nailante Ilengete aliyetambuliwa na jarida la Times Magazine mwaka 2018 kwenye orodha ya watu wenye ushawishi mkubwa ulimwenguni ndiye mwanzilishi wa kituo hichi Marithawa. Huku masomo tu yakiwa hayatoshi, wasichana kwenye kituo hiki wanapata zana za ujuzi wa maisha inayothamiriwa kuwa muhimu hata zaidi ya elimu. We build the capacities of our girls in five respective areas. One is advocacy. The other one is SRHR, which is sexual reproductive health. Communication technology that is ICT. We want to introduce them to computer coding at a very early age so that they may use it to advance their ICT skills. We do entrepreneurship Uh, of which we haven't started on a large scale but we know it's something we are thinking on and we are working on and then we also do personal development those are the five critical areas we train Susan Semeyan ni mmoja ya wasichana katika kituo hiki Mimi nilipomaliza form 4 nikakuja nyumbani na siku ana pesa ya kwenda shule so nilikuwa tu mama kaniambia tu nikae nyumbani juu sasa yeye ana pesa na kuna mama nyingine atatoa pesa nyingine nilikuwa tunakaa nyumbani sana nilikuwa nafikiria kama mimi sitaisoma tena like sikuwa na future kabisa ya kuendelea na masomo hata nililose ni, ni hope kabisa ya kwenda shuleni alafu sasa ni, ni, nilikuwa nafikiria sasa from hapa maybe mimi ni, ni, watu wataenda shuleni wasome maybe nikae nyumbani niolewe alafu sasa future yangu ikatike tu hapo so the moment i came here We were told on leadership skills, we were told on advocacy, decision making. So after hapo sasa nikaanza kupata hope kwenda shule, ways of venye nita venye nitafanya ndio niende shuleni. Programs through which naweza undergo ni pate school fees za kwenda shule yeah, and how to make my own decision in maisha yangu. Mimi kenye naweza mwambia nice, ninamwambia tu asante sana, namwambia Mungu, Mungu ambariki. Aendelee tu kwenda kuja huko kijijini, atafute wasichana tu kama sisi akuja to motivate na endelee tu kutupea hizi trainings na hakika dreams zetu zitakuwa valid wito wake kwa viongozi na washikadau utakuwa upi msichana akipata mimba that is not the end of life that that doesn't mean that hata endelea tena na masomo still akienda tu shule ataendelea tu na hata baadaye tu ata achieve dream yake na the nani of circumcision 
hiyo si lazima hiyo ifanyike msichana anaweza kuwa tu a very nani important person in the society even without being circumcised atasoma na at the end of it at achieve dream yake na maisha tu yendelee vizuri huku mitazamo mingi ya jamii ikiaminishwa kuwa wasichana ni dhaifu au kazi yao ni jikoni au labda wanafaa kufanya kazi nyepesi hapa akina dada wanaambiwa kuwa lolote linawezekana ukithamiria na kuweka malengo sawa we want to mold them as young as they are to give them uh, that that mentorship and see them grow see them uh, acquire acquire knowledge and skills that they can be able to be better as they as they grow so during the holidays we we take in girls we take them through a program here for two weeks three weeks sometimes it can go up to a month then we have those girls who have finished high school recent uh, graduates from from high school before they transition to the next level we take them in for we we are offering uh, several courses one is leadership we want to we want to build a battery of leaders of of uh, of women leaders basically then we also have advocacy advocacy the founder of this institution is an ambassador an anti fgm ambassador we want to build more ambassadors so we are preparing girls also on advocacy so that they can articulate issues here we also offer practical skills like for example plumbing we want to we want to challenge the stereotypes that there is some courses for men so we want to offer plumbing courses for the girls we want to offer carpentry courses for the girls and we also do agriculture so that they they, they can explore those those areas that have been deemed as as a, as as for for men mara nyingi wanasema elimu ndio ufunguo wa maisha na vita dhidi ya ukeketaji mimba za mapema na kuozwa mapema kwa wasichana hazijatumia elimu kama chenzo cha kuzimaliza hapa katika kituo hiki cha Nice Place Foundation hali ni tofauti kama unaviona leo wasichana katika kituo hiki wanaketi pamoja na wanafunzi katika chuo cha Kenya Medical Training College kuketi chini kuzungumza na kupitishwa kwenye hatua ambazo zitawasaidia kujisajili kama wanafunzi katika chuo hicho so currently what we are doing is to partner with various stakeholders so that we can increase the number of students who are coming from the local community into KMTC so when it comes to nice foundation there are ways we can be able to partner because you already have local students who are here whom you have identified uh, who are going through the leadership training but some of the students are also qualified for KMTC courses nice uh, lengete uh, ni jina ambalo sio dogo hapa katika nchi yetu hata kwenye kitaifa na pia hapa kwenye kaunti yetu na watu wengi sana wanauliza what was the motivation behind creating such a masterpiece uh, kwanza nice place hapa ni nyumbani eh mm hii -hmm. ndio vile jama kijiji ambaye nimezaliwa na nikalelewa mm -hmm. na mimi nitasema nimelelewa kama mtoto wa community because kumbuka ukiwa mtoto kwa hii jamii ya kimasa iwe ni mtoto wa kila mtu wa community na maanisha hata kukupanish wakati unakosea mm -hmm. uh, ni kama wazazi wako kwa hivyo ni jambo la kawaida uh, na nafikiri wazo ya kutengeneza nice place uh, ni vile kwa miaka mingi nimehusika kwa mambo ya wasichana na kina mama mm -hmm. sana sana kwa wasichana mambo ya ndoa za mapema mm -hmm. mimba za mapema mm -hmm. na vile vile upingaji ama uh, kuzuia tohara ya wasichana kwa wasichana wetu na ukifanya hii kazi unajua uko na watoto wengi wanakuja kwako wanakuambia ninataka kuolewa na mzazi wangu niko na miaka 12 13 lakini sitaki kuolewa nataka kuendelea na shu na nyumbani sio safe siwezi kaa mimi natakuambia wazazi wangu wananilazimisha kutairi so kulikuwa na cases mingi sana ninajaribu ninapeana hizo cases kwa mashule tofauti ambapo wanakaa huko tunawasupport wakiwa huko wengine tunakaa na wao wengine tunawapeana kwa majirani ama watu wengine na ikafika mahali nikisema uh, unajua sina sehemu ya kuwaweka pengine tukiwa na mahali ambapo tunaweza weka wasichana wetu wachungwe wakue protected from all these harmful practices na waweze kuendelea na masomo yao na kitu tutaweza kusaidia wengi wanasema mtafutaji hachoki na kichoka kesha pata kabla ya kupata rasilimali za kutosha kuanzisha kituo hiki Nice Lengete alisubiri sana na bila shaka kama mnavyojua Subra huvuta heri. 
ndoto nimekuwa naye kwa miaka saba iliyopita na nakumbuka proposal ya kwanza tulifanya mm -hmm. tukijaribu kutengeneza tuko naita nice house nice place tumekuwa na majina <laughs> mingi tofauti <laughs> and uh, tukupata tukajaribu mara ya pili funding ikakataa ya tatu nafikiri ndio mara ya nne tumejaribu ndio imekubali so ndasema tu ni patience na hiyo tu kujua hii ni shida tunaye tunahitaji center kama hii tuseme uh, loitoktok na Kenya mzima na mahali kwingine hii ni mm -hmm. moja lakini najua bado tunahitaji mingi mm -hmm. na nafikiri tukiwa nayo mm -hmm. tutaweza kusaidia wasichana wengi bila shaka hayo yalikuwa ni makala ya kuangazia na kujikita kuijua Nice Place Foundation muhimu zaidi kuelewa wito wao na kazi ambao wanaifanya ni katika makala ya kuijua Kajado hapa ni Kajado TV Kajado TV